And now Winston-Salem police are trying to find the person who killed a teenager last night. Police just released the 16 year old's identity. He was shot and killed on Anson Street last night. Our Kirsten Gutierrez is live at the police department. Kirsten, what do we know? Police say the victim was a 16 year old teen and family and friends who were close to him and those close friends who were with him in his last moments say that he was living at the Diamond Ridge apartments at the time of his murder. I need to get out of here. I can't do this in here no more. The kid died right there by my washer. Winston-Salem police say a 16 year old was shot and killed Tuesday night inside this apartment on Anson Street. It's scary. Sabrina Hughes says the victim, J. Mayan Stinson, was her son's best friend. I'm not holding up because I had to watch that boy die in my son's arm. Hughes says she took in Stinson to keep him off the streets. And while the two boys were watching TV around 1130, she heard gunshots. They shot there and they shot there. Billy Holes is all through my window. Yeah, Jeremiah, he said, Miss Sabrina, I got hit. I'm like, Ray, he done got hit, let me call the ambulance. So my son trying to bring him back to life while the ambulance came. Stinson was taken to the hospital where he later died. Hughes is no stranger to tragedy. I already had a son, older son that died when he was 15. That's why I left New York. So I know the feel about it. I'm just sick of this shooting stuff. And wants the violence to end. Fist fight, like back in the day. You fight, you get your ass whipped, you get your ass whipped. And then y'all be friends the next day. But what are you shooting each other for? It don't make no sense because you're going to get caught and you're going to go to jail. She says she's lucky to be alive, but scared to live in her own home. Yeah, I feel stuck here because right now I can't move. And I'm afraid for my life here. Now, police say they aren't sure if this incident was gang related, but the victim did have fa did have friends that had gang affiliations. Now, police also say that right now there is no arrest, but they have several leads that they're following tonight and ask that, you know, if you have any information on this case to please call them or Crime Stoppers. Live in Winston-Salem, Kirsten Gutierrez, WXI 12 News.